Tonight, a federal investigation is underway into an IMPD sergeant's alleged use of excessive force. The U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI are working to determine if any federal criminal statutes were violated. Meanwhile, WRTV's Alyssa Donovan is checking in with members of the community who believe IMPD has taken a step in the right direction with its handling of this case so far. No one cares what you do anymore. This body camera video shows the actions that led to IMPD Sergeant Eric Huxley's criminal charges. The 14-year IMPD veteran is charged with felony battery and official misconduct after he stomped down on a man's face during an arrest. Police Chief Randall Taylor suspending Huxley and recommending he be fired. The video of the incident sparking an emotional response in some. I was uh, angry. I was shocked. I was um, frustrated that this was a supervisor. Marshawn Woley is the policy director for the African American Coalition of Indianapolis. It showed that um, the work that the community has done to try to establish systems of accountability are necessary, needed, and this was just more evidence of that. Chief Taylor expressing the importance of transparency in this case when announcing the charges on Tuesday. Uh, I promised this community and I promised our officers that I would be transparent. That's in good times and bad times. This is a bad time. I think there's a lot of questions that are still surrounding the incident, but I do think it is important that the chief is sending a strong message to the other officers that these kinds of things will not be tolerated. There were two other officers at the scene with Sergeant Huxley during the incident. We wanted to know exactly what was reported about what happened and by who. IMPD says that since both the criminal and internal investigations are still active, they cannot speak to the specifics on the case just yet. What we do know is a blue team report was filed, which is part of IMPD's use of force policy, which was updated last year. The policy states, Officers will stop and report any use of force performed by themselves or another officer that violates applicable laws or department policies. Woolley says now that these processes are in place, citizens are paying more attention. Right now, he feels we're getting a chance to see this play out in real time, whether these new policies work and what else needs to be done. There's been a lot of work both from the community perspective in partnership with the police department to raise um, transparency and accountability and the police department has been making a number of efforts in that regard um, but it's just always important to you know trust but then also verify and I think that's where we are we're trying to understand the processes in place I do think all of this though is a step in the positive direction I'm Alyssa Donovan WRTV well, he says this is also an opportunity to dig into how the city is responding to people experiencing homelessness or those on the streets experiencing mental health issues. The man Sergeant Huxley is accused of stomping in the face was being arrested for being loud and disorderly. According to court documents, he told IMPD he had been living on the streets of Indianapolis for about a year.